And welcome to map 14. Map 14 is honestly such a good map. So let's just get get going here, okay? Let's do a half speed. So there's a few things you want to really um, notice here in the beginning. In the beginning, I drive to the left side. And that's because I want to make sure that I don't drift yet. I don't want to drift yet. And I want to keep... Um, I want to keep my my traction on the road. And as you can see, I'm about to gear up to third gear pretty soon. And when I gear up to third gear, I want to make sure that I'm not steering. Okay, so look at my inputs, my steering inputs, and as well as the gear. I gear up and then I start steering. And then right here, I'm about to gear up once again. So I try to make sure I do a small counter steer right here to make sure that my skid marks, they don't drift, make sure my car doesn't drift. And then I gear up while my car doesn't drift, okay? Those two gears are gonna be hella important because they give you so much speed, okay? So practice those gears. If you get them you're, and you don't have have gotten them on your PB already, you're 100% gonna PB if you get those gears, okay? You can always drive against my ghost if you wanna see the line and see whether or not you got the gears as well. Continuing further into the track, uh, what you wanna do here is you actually wanna start um, going pretty tight right here, but don't, so you can see I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty tight to the inside of this CP. It's not like I'm doing a wide curve to get into this turn. I'm actually going pretty inside both here and here. And then I go pretty far up the hill. The further up the hill you go, the, the higher the chance that you're going to get airtime and fly out the track, which is, of course, not something you want. But there's another side to it. It's a high risk, high reward situation. The higher up you go, the less you're also going to have to drift, plus the less, uh, less distance you actually have to drive. So here, my left tires actually uh, start flying, but my, my, sorry, my right tires start flying, but my left tires still have traction on the road, so that's okay. And I just make that little jump right here over the, over the corner, over the corner here. That's fine. Practice this as well. You can obviously save it. You can go lower if you're worried that you're going to fly out, but the higher up you go, the better your time is going to be, okay? And, and getting these wheels to start flying is very common. Like, it's not... It's very common. So right here, you want to enter this transition in a drift, and you want to go pretty close to this uh, to this right side of the road. Okay. What I usually elect to do, but you don't have to, is I hit the corner of this. Sometimes I even hit the whole car in this, and it flies down to the other road section just to skip some of the uh, the grass. But you don't have to do that. Just make sure that whatever you do, that you enter this section uh, as to make it possible for you to do a left-handed drift. See, I initiate a drift right here, a very small one, but just enough to get a really inside line right here. Because if you if you enter this turn way too wide, uh, and if you don't do that drift, well, first things first, if you don't do the drift, uh, you're forced to uh, release your gas, which is just slower. But second thing second, if you, if you enter this turn way too wide, you're gonna have to oversteer on the grass and it loses you a lot of speed, okay? Then I try to drift as little as possible while touching as little of the penalty grass as possible. And then when I enter this um, transition right here, it's important to know the less of a drift you enter the transition with, the more speed you're gonna get out of the transition. So, but it also has a downside. The less of a drift that you enter this turn with, the higher the chances that you're gonna hit the outside wall, okay? So it's a high risk, high reward situation again. That's also why I love this track because there's a bunch of um, min max factors that you're able to do here i land in a small drift to make sure i go really tight to the to the right side here and i so for this jump i'm trying to jump as straight into the finish as possible as to not make me uh, forced to to adjust my car's um angle way too much on the water so on the water i just do a small 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 uh steering uh, adjustment and that's and that's it and that's map 13 guys I'll see you on my Twitch, okay? Bye-bye.